Hi, so we are Spotify. Uh, my name is Jen Mosse, and I'm the head of Indies for our commercial partnerships team. My name is Jeff Stempek, and I'm head of Indies for our artist and label partnerships team. We work closely at Spotify to be sure that artists, labels, and distributors have the tools to grow their audience at Spotify, and most importantly, know what to do with them. Thank you for taking the time for, to join us today at South by Southwest Online. We wish we could be with you in Austin, but are thrilled you could be with us today in the session. As you sometimes must do in this crazy new virtual world, we have pre-recorded this session uh, at the end of February. So uh, we have made some exciting new announcements this week, but by the time you view this workshop, we may have made even more. Uh, Spotify for Artists will always have the latest and greatest info for you. So we hope you will follow us there too. Cool. So before we jump into the main presentation, I want to take some time to address the COVID-19 pandemic and the continued impact it's having on our industry. We're still doing what we can to drive users to our COVID-19 music relief efforts, which includes 20 charitable organizations across 15 territories, and Spotify has already matched $10 million of those donations. Like everyone else, we need to do more to support artist teams where we can, and we'll aim to speak to some of those areas today. The goal for this session is to provide you with the knowledge, tools, and best practices to help you raise your profile and find your audience on Spotify. Today, we'll go through Spotify Today, Spotify Products, Spotify Playlists, Looking Forward, and some resources that you can use moving on. Um, let's see here. So we'll kick off today with an overview of Spotify today, looking at our company mission, Spotify by the numbers, growth opportunities and trends, um, how we're growing and identifying trends to make the Spotify experience the best for creators and fans. I always love starting these workshops with our mission. Um, to unlock the potential of human creativity by giving a million creative artists the opportunity to live off their art and billions of fans the opportunity to enjoy and be inspired by it. Um, when we at Spotify walk into work every day, we have this as kind of like our North Star goal as a company. We really want to be sure that we are delivering on this goal. And so when we're deciding between things that we're going to build, things we're going to innovate on, things that are important to us, we look to this as our company mission to be sure that um, if we are doing something, it's, it's in line with this goal. Um, and I remember when I started kind of, you know, working with Spotify when I was at A2IM, uh, the American Association of Independent Music, and Spotify was just launching and I went around and we were talking to each of the different members at A2IM about Spotify's launch and, you know, what it meant. And people were, you know, kind of saying like, well, you know, they don't have any subscribers. We don't know what's going to happen. And, and I remember saying at that time, it's not about a million subscribers, it's about a billion. Um, and if you could get a billion people to compensate artists for their art, um, you know, it would really be impactful for your business. And that was at a time when like 90 plus percent of um, music consumption was pirated, um, happening on P2Ps and other things. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, what I like to kind of look at now is the fact that, oh my God, we're like a third of the way there. We're at 345 monthly active users um, as of our most published, you know, most recently published data um, with 155 million of those um, being paying subscribers. And with the launch of our most recent markets, we're now live in 170 markets around the world. This means that we have worldwide distribution for your music and huge reach with hundreds of millions of listeners around the globe. Again, prospective fans for the music that you're creating. So as Spotify grows, these audiences and fan bases grow for our creators. And that is how our mission motivates us to continue to find opportunities for growth. We've paid out 21 billion euro to rights holders since Spotify's launch. And more than 5 billion of that was paid in 2020 alone. As we're bringing more potential fans and listeners onto the platform for your content, we can help you grow your audience and accelerate your musical career. So how do we grow Spotify exactly? We're growing in two ways, by going into new markets and by identifying and reaching new audiences. 
Spotify wants to be everywhere fans and artists exist. We are constantly looking at opportunities to enter new markets and audiences. This includes opportunities across Asia and Africa, as well as investing in high growth markets like India. Spotify is increasingly global, which means your music, audio content reaches hundreds of millions of music fans around the globe upon launch. At our Stream On event on February 22nd, 2021, we announced that we're bringing Spotify to more than 80 new markets in more than 36 new languages. So it'll be easier than ever to reach a global audience and to develop your fans no matter what country they live in. Together, these markets represent more than a billion people with nearly half of them already using the internet. Across Asia, Africa, the Caribbean, Europe, and Latin America, You'll see listeners from these new countries reflected in your Spotify for Artists dashboards as we launch throughout the year. We are incredibly excited to have recently launched in the sixth largest music market in the world, South Korea. Koreans can now access over 60 million tracks and over 4 billion playlists from around the world, as well as enjoy personalized music recommendations and discover new music. Music lovers in Korea can share, can stream Spotify's broad music catalog, spanning everything from the country's own K-pop to Latin America and reggaeton, European electronic and beyond. Korea's launch is a critical next step in our global expansion journey. Since we debuted our first K-pop playlist in 2014, the share of K-pop listening on Spotify has increased by more than 2000%. But music in Korea spans far beyond K-pop. As part of the launch, we've introduced a range of new playlists made exclusively for South Korea. These curated collections offer the latest music from our team of Korean music experts across some of the most popular genres. Another way of growing to meet our company mission of giving a million creative artists the opportunity to live off their art and billions of fans the opportunity to enjoy it is to focus on finding and serving new audiences or making the experience better or more relevant for our existing audience. Spotify is constantly looking to reach fans in new ways. Spotify's platform Ubiquity means that we want users to be able to access us no matter which device, operating system, or bandwidth they have. So those are some great examples of how we're committed to reaching new audiences through partnerships and through iterations of the Spotify experience. But another significant strategy we're heavily invested in is to grow Spotify and to serve our mission as podcasts. We now have more than 2.2 million podcast titles on Spotify. Overall, we're seeing clear indications that podcast usage is driving increased overall engagement and retention. Podcasts really are a huge growth opportunity for us to bring more listeners and audiences onto Spotify, creating habitual use of our audio offering. You may be curious why podcasts matter to you. Over the next few slides, we'll walk through how we're thinking about our podcast business and some of our recent investments that bring us closer to reaching our goal of becoming the world's leading audio platform. We have a three-phase content strategy to build a compelling podcast offering that will differentiate Spotify in the industry. Number one, get in the game. Through catalog parity, we now have over 2.2 million titles on the platform. Number two, win the game. Through content differentiation with exclusive titles and originals. And number three, change the game through innovation like your daily drive, blending an algorithmic selection of tracks with news podcasts and other new content format, focusing on differentiation. We've also, you've also seen in the press, and we've mentioned before, Spotify has made significant investments into the podcast space with our acquisitions of industry leading companies such as Anchor, Gimlet, Parcast. The Ringer and Megaphone, as well as investments in original content out of our own Spotify studios. We are committed to providing the best tools and services to podcast creators and the best catalog to our listeners. With music and podcasts living side by side, we're making Spotify habitual use of music, use for music and podcast fans, and enabling new audiences for our content creators. Spotify for Podcasters is now available in Spanish. English, German, and Portuguese, as well as aiming to provide the best user experience. We're also looking to change the game for creators with investments in technology to enable the creation and management of their podcast content. Last year, we launched Spotify for Podcasters, built to empower the podcast creating community to continue innovating and sharing their work with the world. 
At its core, Spotify for Podcasters is a discovery and analytics dashboard. One where you can both submit your show to Spotify and dive deep into engagement and demographic data for your podcast, tracking things like average listening times, episode streams, and total listeners. Cool. So Jen just covered a lot of our broader podcast efforts, but we're also working hard to highlight music storytelling within the podcast medium. So we know there's a huge opportunity for creative expression, storytelling, and connecting with audiences through podcasts. And we always want to kind of call out some of the cooler music podcasts that we've seen on platform have a lot of success. Uh, one I talk about a lot is Jessie Ware, her podcast, Table Manners. It includes a ton of great interviews with Jessie and her mom, speaking to people like Haim and Dolly Parton and a lot of other great guests. And now with our Spotify podcast playlist, you can actually see kind of snippets of these segments broken out in other areas. Um, also a reminder, if you have a podcast, it is a great idea to highlight that with the artist pick on your artist page, which we'll go into later. Next slide. Also, um, on, a, on a similar note, um, for years, artists have been able to share and deliver podcasts to Spotify, but now we've also recently launched a new initiative that we call Music and Talk. Uh, this is really exciting because it combines music and spoken word, allowing full songs and talk commentary to live together wrapped up in one show. Long story short, podcast creators and artists can now leverage licensed music in an easy, fair way by using our Acre podcast creation tool. I highly recommend you to check out some of the Spotify original music and talk shows under the music and talk hub and listen to some of the great recent examples uh, that we've seen from the artist community like Maluma's One Week in Jamaica or Deep Dive with Kevin Parker uh, from Tame Impala where he discusses his approach to how he wrote and produced every single track on a really incredible album. So next on uh, Spotify products, uh, let's jump into some updates around the wider Spotify products that you guys hopefully all use. Starting with Spotify for Artists. Uh, we're always trying to connect you with your fans and through Spotify for Artists, you'll be able to do just that. We've used Spotify for Artists as the go-to creative hub for artist teams to manage their profile, access tools, audience stats, and a ton of best practices that will help you promote your music and find an audience. Also one key update here, um, we know there's been a lot of concern around localization of Spotify for Artists, and we heard you. We're launching in 25 new languages by the end of 2021. So how you get started on Spotify for, for Artists is really starting with verification. Verifying your profile is simple and easy. Just request access to Spotify for Artists at artists.spotify.com or through the mobile app. Once your request is granted, your artist profile gets the all-important blue tick and you'll have access to a whole host of artist tools and listening data. You'll also be able to invite your whole team to collaborate. Uh, the quickest and most frictionless way to get verified is to use one of our preferred artist distributors. That's DistroKid, CD Baby, Emu Bands, and Record Union. Um, these partners have taken a lot of extra steps to integrate with us more deeply and with Spotify so that their customers could get automatically verified when distributing their music. Your roster. So the Your Roster view consolidates all artists you work with in one easy place. Here, artists, um, admins, and editors have the opportunity to pitch upcoming releases for playlists. And everything here is organized by the pitching actions you can take, helping you prioritize pitching by the releases that are coming up soon or modifying submitted pitches. Next slide. Track your progress. So in addition to managing your profile, you can also see your data and keep track of your progress all within Spotify for Artists. Uh, you can see how your songs are performing, where the listeners are coming from, top 50 cities, top 50 countries, age and gender split of your listeners, what playlists you've been added to, and much more. It's really important to see who's you're listening because by digging deeper into Spotify for Artists data, we want you to inform other marketing and career decisions as well. Artists have used the data from Spotify for Artists in a variety of ways, whether that's routing tours in pre-COVID times or using the age and gender info to inform what merchandise they might sell on their artist page. Just really important to get comfortable with this because the entire music team at Spotify is constantly looking at Spotify for Artists data as a source of truth, so it's important that you do too. Live listener count. We know listening trends move really fast. So we also provide live listener counts at the track level for the artist the first seven days and at the aggregate level uh, for the total of the artist at any time. 
managing images. So using our image uploader is a simple and easy way that you can update your avatar and header images displayed in the desktop app and the web player. You can also build out a gallery of images on the about section of your artist page for fans who want to dig deeper. You can update up to 125 images here. Lastly, it's really important to kind of keep your profile updated with your story. One way you can do that is by writing a bio. Your bio is that story in your own words. With Spotify for Artists, you can also write a bio to save it to your profile, update it anytime you want. It offers 1,500 characters to share with your fans, and you can update this kind of whenever it makes sense for you. Whether that's sharing the story of, like, of you as an artist as a whole, or really the inspiration behind your latest release. Um, you or the artist that you work with has a really cool story. We want you to share that. Like whenever I find a new artist I really like, the first thing I do is check out their bio. It's kind of like an instant snapshot of their social media personality before I dig in more. And it's a great way to connect with in their own voice. You also want to make sure that you add your social links to your profile. Um, we offer the ability on the about page to add your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Wikipedia. This gives you an opportunity to kind of tie together your online presence and the listeners an op opportunity to really get to know you as an artist wherever you are online. Also be sure to share your tour dates. Um, obviously this is a bit different now that the large majority of events are now digital, but on the live side, we work with Ticketmaster, Songkick, Eventbrite, Resident Advisor, AXS, and E Plus in Japan to feature tour dates on your profile. As long as you have all your shows listed with one of those partners, the dates will be shown on platform. Um, if your concert isn't listed with one of those partners, just head to the Songkick tour box page, that's tourbox.songkick.com, and add the relevant info. This listing will then be pulled across into Spotify. And kind of segueing from that, um, it's really exciting, but listeners are now able to find virtual events on Spotify. If you head to the on tour section of your favorite artist profile, um, you can see their scheduled performances or, or take a look at the full listings on our concerts hub. Um, both will integrate event listings for shows on any platform, whether that's Twitch, Instagram Live, YouTube Live, a hosted website, or something else through ticketing partners like Songkick and Ticketmaster. Sell so merch. Whether it's t-shirts, vinyl, custom socks, fans love artist-branded merch. You can sell your gear directly to fans around the world through our partnership with Merch Bar. Once your merch is listed with Merch Bar, the three top products automated, automatically populate on your Spotify for Artists profile for fans to browse and buy. Merch Bar works with most licensed merchandise companies, so there's a good chance your merch is already on your profile. Um, and if you manage your merchandise independently, please head to merchbar.com artists for more info on joining. Uh, we know partners occasionally have frustrations with Merch Bar sometimes, so please reach out to us via your distributor for specific issues. And we're hard at work to try to make the experience better. Grow your following. So one thing we always really wanna lean into in these presentations is the importance of follow. Um, just like any other social media platform where you spend time building up followers and likes, you can do exactly the same on Spotify. The more followers you have, the more reach you'll have. And the more Spotify users we can recommend your music and events to, gaining you more exposure and more streams. One reason why follow is so powerful is because it guarantees inclusion in new release and concert emails or now virtual event notifications. They're a great way to keep people engaged with your music and event activity. Next slide. Another important function of follow is that it maximizes the chances of your music being included in your fans algorithmic playlists, such as release radar and discover weekly, both of which drive massive amounts of streams. Another thing I'll note, is that you guys are probably all aware that we're investing heavily into more promotional areas as part of our marketplace offerings. And follow is a really key element of how we figure out targeting now and for the future. So it's a vital area to invest time and strategy into. Create your own artist playlist. So hopefully many of you are already doing this, but using an artist playlist is a great way to interact with fans via an artist's tastes or release rollout and can also create a one-stop shop for other use cases like featuring an artist's entire discography, showcasing DJ sets or sharing influences and set lists. Um, once you build a strong playlist following, that's a proprietary promotion channel that you own forever. So it's really worth marketing and being creative with. Um, I really like Poolside's daytime disco list where Poolside updates it himself, but he also kind of works with his friends and collaborators in the industry to kind of take it over and do their own take on daytime disco. 
I think the most recent one was with Billy Idol. And by doing that, he always has his friends and collaborators sharing on social media. So he's tapping into new audiences. So there's a lot of great ways to build this up over time. And we highly recommend you guys to do the same. Artist pick is another great way of adding personality and customization to your artist page to connect with fans. Uh, this tool allows artists to select a track, album, playlist, or event, and showcase it in prime real estate on the profile. We often see this as a great way for teams to call out collaborations, side projects, or label or touring mates. Creator promo cards. So in, in the spirit of helping artists grow their audiences on our platform, we're excited to launch a new way for creators to develop personalized assets for use in their promotional channels. Next slide. So there's three types of creator promo cards. You can create a promo card for an artist, track, or an album. And creating a promo card is a three-step process. You search for the content you want to promote, you customize that asset, and you download the card or share it directly to Facebook or Twitter. For tracks that are playlisted on one of our 32 supported playlists, you'll see the option to create a personalized promo card and celebrate that track being playlisted. Our new site, artist.spotify.com slash promo cards, allows visitors to easily create those customized promo cards and share them on social media. So be sure to check it out. On your socials. So as you hopefully know, we've added the option to share your music on Instagram stories, which is directly linked back to Spotify for fans to stream. For now, previews will only play when you share a single track to stories. Um, when you share other content like an album, playlist or your profile page, viewers will be able to click directly into that content on Spotify, but they won't hear the preview link. On the artist creation side, we're really excited to welcome two new tools and features into the Spotify for Artists family. First up, Soundtrap. Soundtrap is an easy to use online collaborative music and podcast recording studio. It allows you and collaborators to connect and work on the same song or podcast in real time on any device, no matter where you are in the world. You can tap into an extensive collection of beats, loops, and instruments, or connect your own instruments. You can try it out for free at soundtrap.com. Next up, Soundbetter. We're really pleased to also welcome Soundbetter into the Spotify for Artists family. Through Soundbetter, you can connect with and hire top music production pros to work with you on your project. Maybe you're looking for a top liner to write and sing on your track. Perhaps you need a last minute string player to record on your song, or maybe you're looking for a remixer to breathe new life into that song. You can do all this on Soundbetter securely and remotely, regardless of your location. You can also choose to offer your own services through Soundbetter, whether you're an artist, instrumentalist, songwriter, beat maker, producer, or engineer. Soundbetter enables you as a creative professional to market your services, reach new clients, and get paid for your work. Since Soundbetter launched in 2012, the member community has grown to over 180,000, spanning 176 countries and 14,000 cities worldwide. We also want to highlight some cool new product features. One of them is search by lyrics. Spotify users are now able to search by lyrics using any platform, desktop, TV, PlayStation, kids app, you name it, and get tracks based on the lyrics match. Mobile users will also have visual cues, support in iOS and Android. Also, just a quick note that we do have the full flesh lyrics functionality live in 26 markets in the now playing view. And we're currently testing that feature again in the US. So more to come on that front. Canvas. So Canvas is a eight second looping visual tool that we use. We kind of like refer to it as, you know, album artwork for the streaming age. Hopefully many of you have engaged with it already. Uh, but as of February, it is now available to all artist teams. We know some people view Spotify as a passive listening experience. So we want artists to be able to find new ways to creatively engage with their fans, not just by listening to the music, but by kind of entering that artist's wider creative universe. Earlier in 2020, we announced that artists in the Canvas beta could actually share canvases via the Spotify for Artists app to their Instagram stories, broadening the reach of the music on Spotify and kind of giving that deepening engagement like another chance for fans to see a cool visual around a, a song and connect with it. Um, we're also really excited now that consumers can also do the same thing. We basically feel that you put a lot of work into your canvases, so we want to make sure that you're sharing them. Um, also, in general, I highly recommend the best practices guides and content pieces on great canvases that we have on the Spotify for Artists' blog. Um, there's a lot of amazing examples of what artists are doing with Canvas, so be sure to check it out. Notable is our new global home for songwriters, producers, and publishers. 
here you'll be able to find all the resources that we've made available for the songwriting and publishing community, including info and spot info and Spotify publishing analytics, Spotify for artists, songwriter pages, and our newly launched songwriters hub. Be sure to check out all the new website has to offer our email newsletter, Instagram and Twitter, and you'll get the latest news updates on relevant products and services, new programs or video resources, or just chances to connect. Songwriter pages. So we launched a limited beta of our new songwriter pages in February, 2020. Uh, this can be accessed via the three dots and by clicking on song credits. When you click on a name, you'll be transported into a browser for a whole new songwriter discovery page experience. Here you can see the top recordings based on streams of a song, uh, which recording artists most frequently record the writer songs and links to listen and share those songs. We also launched a new songwriter hub as part of our efforts to support the songwriter community. Uh, this is a new place in Spotify for listeners to find written by playlists from both established and emerging songwriters, listen to podcasts about the craft of songwriting and discover a rotating cast of featured songwriters and cultural moments each month. As well as our work being programmed in the songwriters hub, Songwriters are also now searchable on Spotify. Searching for Ant Clemens, for example, will bring up the songwriter's written by playlist, as well as his work as an artist. Last but not least, we also make sure to include songwriter and producer credits available within the desktop and app experience. This is a great way for fans to dig deeper into the artists behind their favorite songs, and also provides an opportunity to be discovered by new collaborators and industry partners. Um, one of my friends is in publishing A&R and like this is his favorite feature on Spotify. He's constantly looking into these credits when he hears amazing new songs and reaches out to those songwriters to work with them. Cool, let's start up on the campaigns and partnership side. So here we're going to talk about some ways our team works with artists and label partners to amplify specific artist stories and more importantly, tools that you can use to do so yourself. I want to start things off with Radar. Um, in my opinion, this is our most exciting marketing partnership. Uh, it's our global emerging artist program. Since we launched Radar in 2020, we've elevated 175 up and coming artists from around the world, giving them editorial and marketing support at a pivotal moment in their career. In 2021, we'll shine a spotlight on even more up and comers, featuring them on editorial playlists on Spotify and supporting their growth within their local market and globally. Here's a quick visual look at some of the amazing radar artists we've been able to work with. Um, we've now driven 2 billion streams for radar artists and collectively lifted the group's follower account by 64%, building their fan base for the future. I also recommend checking out the radar hub on platform where we feature um, your most local markets, uh, current radar artist selections, really cool international emerging radar names and recent releases from artists involved in the program. I was muted. Sorry about that. Lots of fun doing these. Anyway, uh, listeners on our free ad supported platform hear 15 or 30 second audio ads at naturally occurring breaks between songs during their listening session. Ad Studio is Spotify's self service advertising platform that makes it easy for you to create and manage Spotify audio ads. Listeners get to hear your ad based on how you target it. You can target by age, gender, location, and platform. Every swipe, skip, and shuffle helps power our targeting so that your ad gets in front of the right listeners. Stats start populating 24 hours after your ads have started. You'll see daily metrics like ads served, clicks, click-through rates, reach, and frequency, as well as audience metrics. Ad Studio is currently available in 22 markets. Um, if you go to ads.spotify.com, you can see if, if your country is one of those. Um, back in June, we launched video ads, which became available in Ad Studio um, in the US, UK, Canada, as well as 17 of our invite only markets. Now, businesses and brands of all sizes can reach their audiences seamlessly across both screens and screenless moments as users stream the content they love. For the formats in Ad Studio, we do audio as well as video. There are a couple of different components. The audio ads are up to 30 second snippets running simultaneously with a banner. If you decide to play some of your music within that, I recommend that you also voice over who you are and what you are promoting. The banner is clickable, so you can have them click through to whatever you're promoting and we'll track the metrics for the listener's actions. 
the video ads are either vertical or horizontal and also have the clickable banner for the listener to take action within it. As you can see from this map, Ad Studio is available in many markets around the world. From any of these markets, using Ad Studio, you can target nearly all markets where we are live around the world, excluding South Korea and Romania. Reach out to us at ads.spotify.com if you are interested in advertising with us. Our full suite of audio, video, display allows you to connect with our users through creative messaging opportunities designed to capture their attention during relevant moments of their listening experiences. Here with audio, you can reach your audience where visual media can't, from headphones to the car. You can reach highly engaged Spotify listeners across devices and platforms. With video, you can tell your story with sight, sound, and motion. Uh, you can do like a video takeover where you deliver quality, viewable video views across desktop and mobile devices. For a sponsored session, you can drive brand affinity by offering 30 minutes of ad-free listening. With a display, you can put your brand front and center with ads designed for viewability. You got a homepage takeover where you can deliver a high impact experience by showcasing your brand message on the front of Spotify's desktop homepage for 24 hours. An overlay is delivered when the user returns to the Spotify app, ensuring maximum brand impact and the leaderboard. So you can scale your campaign reach with a visual ad that will be the only message shown for 30 seconds. Here you have Marquee, um, which is a sponsored recommendation promotional tool allowing labels and music marketers to effectively and reliably reach and engage fans and followers on release week for a new album. Labels and listeners have been really happy with the product so far. Labels are able to reach listeners with a promotional tool right at the moment when they are deciding what to listen to, something no other promotional tool can offer. And listeners love it. Click-through rate typically is north of 20%. Premium listeners can opt out of receiving marquee notifications, but the opt-out rate has been close to zero, which is a signal of just how strong our targeting is and how native the format feels. Right now, labels around the world can buy a marquee, which is paid by, a, by click from anywhere in the world, um, but currently only to reach US and Canadian listeners. Marquee is the best way to get your new release to the right listeners and activate your fan base. Global superstars and independent artists alike have made Marquee a critical part of their release strategy. So we're expanding the beta to even more artist teams beyond the US and Canada. Soon, artists in the UK, Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand will be able to book marquees through their local Spotify teams. And the US will introduce a self-serve platform so teams can book campaigns and see results directly in Spotify for Artists. Um, so there's a couple feature updates we wanted to highlight today as well. Um, for the content, it used to be that you could only book them for albums and then we added EPs and now you can also book those for singles as well. There's some audience targeting options with um, looking at your core audience. You can look at, you know, kind of broadly. So like everyone, you can look at laps listeners, people who haven't listened in, in over six months, recently interested. So people who, um, who have listened like in the last 28 days and then casual listeners for the people that fall, you know, within the like last six months. Um, so we can help you with that kind of targeting. Um, and we also um, listen to artists and labels who said, you know, maybe, maybe it's not the first week, um, but let's do this within 21 days of post-release. So um, we now give you up to three weeks after release for you to be able to, um, to run that marquee and, and reach your fans. Um, so here, uh, we'll showcase the marquee case study with Lecrae. Lecrae's campaign re-engaged 35% of LAPS listeners. Um, Lecrae's restoration album release moment, um, he was able to reach like existing listeners on Spotify and that's, that was really what they wanted to do. Um, and then they utilized marquee's audience segments targeting to reactivate Lecrae's LAPS listeners on Spotify. Um, the average streams per listener was 18 streams and they had 80,000 saves and playlist ads as a result of it. Cool, Spotify playlists, the good stuff. Um, so I'll quickly go over our editorial philosophy, types of playlists and some best practices you guys can use your, on your own. Sorry, next slide. 
So quite simply, our editorial philosophy is twofold. Create the best possible audio experience for our listeners and be the best partner in the world to creators and creative industry. Today, we'll discuss three main types of Spotify owned and operated playlists, editorial, personalized editorial, and algorithmic playlists. Next slide. So editorial playlists. So when we say editorial, we're really talking about human operated playlists. When you submit your music to our submission tool, it goes to our global team of editors who review submissions for new releases on a weekly basis and program thousands of editorial playlists. Our main goal on the editorial side is to expand the listening ecosystem to give more opportunities to our listeners and to creators, which we do by thinking beyond genre and mood and moment and driving further into cross genre hypotheses and focusing on niches, micro genres and specialty concepts. We've also launched personalized editorial playlists, which can better facilitate the connection between artists and the right audience at scale. For example, if you're a new rock artist and you make a song that's good for working out, you could end up in our workout playlist beast mode where users with a higher affinity for rock are more likely to hear your song. If you're a hip hop artist and you end up in beast mode, users with a higher affinity to hip hop are more likely to hear your song. This really accomplishes two great things. First, we're able to provide a better user experience so users are spending more time in the playlist and they're listening to more music. And second, by increasing the size of the pool of artists in the playlist, we give more artists more chances to get heard and succeed. One thing to note is that when you are programmed into a personalized playlist, you're not necessarily on every version of that playlist. However, we have created unique links that you can share via Spotify for artists. So when a listener clicks on your unique link, your track will always appear first in that playlist and that'll be cash for the listener for the next 24 hours. Lastly, we have personalized playlists, which are unique to every listener. Spotify works behind the scenes to automatically connect you with the most receptive listeners with playlists such as Release Radar, Discover Weekly, Your Daily Drive, and Your Daily Mix. Uh, in October of last year, we launched a really cool, exciting new initiative with weekly charts. Uh, it's a feature on socials and in-app. Our weekly top 50 chart celebrates the biggest albums and tracks in the world each week, Friday through Thursday. We also include the top 10 debuts in each market and global top 10 debut lists. These lists incorporate data from the first 72 hours of a song, the album is live for the weekend lists. And it kind of gives an exciting early take on the hottest new music on Spotify. Pitch new music for playlists. So with Spotify for Artists, you can pitch an upcoming unreleased song to our playlist editors. We'll also add your pitch song to your followers re release radar playlists. The playlist pitching tool is available to any artist, uh, any member of an artist team or a label who has access to Spotify for Artists. Please ensure that you distribute your music at least a week out to give editors proper time to listen to your music. Also make sure you describe your music. By adding context to your track, you can help our playlist editors find the right music for the right playlists. Recently, I was talking to an editor and she was saying for new artists, she always wants to know where they came from, what their story is, recent traction, overall growth, what's happening with their career, not just on Spotify, but off, who they're working with, what they have planned and upcoming release plans, what's in their future. The, most inf the more information you can provide to our editorial team, the more we can help you as an artist with getting you to the right audience. Also, quick note that we've now added additional functionality to our pitch tool, including way more genres, the ability to pitch three different genres, separate sections for marketing plans, and the ability to differentiate from your hometown and your current location. All this amounts to kind of this crazy number here, which is just really an awesome stat that we're quite proud of. But in 2020, over 76,000 artists were playlisted for the first time, and the majority of these placements came from the pitch tool submissions. Oh, a question. This is one topic that I wanted to take. Um, you cannot buy your way onto a playlist. There are thousands of playlists, each with a listener in mind. And if anyone offers you to pay for a play to get on a Spotify playlist, it is a scam. Um, a question you may have is, are those companies offering guaranteed streams in exchange for money legitimate? The answer is no. Third party promotional services that advertise streams in return for payment violate our terms and conditions and using them could result in your music being removed from Spotify. Any service that claims to offer guaranteed placement on playlists on Spotify in exchange for money are in violation of our terms and conditions and they should not be used. When we identify or are alerted to potential or confirmed cases of stream manipulation, we take action 
that may include the withholding of royalties, the correction of streaming numbers, and measures to ensure the artist or song's popularity is accurately reflected in our charts. Spotify reserves the right to remove manipulated content from the platform. So you may ask yourself, like, how does Spotify protect against artificial streaming? Well, it's worth noting first what we regard as artificial streaming. An artificial stream is a stream that does not reflect genuine user listening intent, including any instance of attempting to manipulate Spotify by using automated processes like bots or scripts. We put significant engineering resources and research into detecting mitigating and removing artificial streaming activity on Spotify so that nothing stands in the way of our mission of giving artists the opportunity to live off their art. And so that rights holders are paid as fairly as possible for their work. The integrity of this is incredibly important to us because an illegitimate stream means there are honest, hardworking artists on the other side that are impacted. So today we've shared with you recent highlights from our overall business, the new and innovative tools we are developing for artists and labels, and a deep dive into our editorial ecosystem. In this last section of our presentation, we'd like to share a little bit about the direction we are heading and how you can be a part of the journey. So artists and fans have told us that a sound quality is important to them. We agree. And that's why we're extremely pleased to announce Spotify Hi-Fi. Beginning later this year, premium subscribers in select markets will be able to upgrade their sound quality to Spotify Hi-Fi and listen to their favorite songs the way artists intended. Spotify Hi-Fi will deliver music in CD quality, lossless audio format to your device, and Spotify Connect enabled speakers, which means fans will be able to experience more depth and clarity while enjoying their favorite tracks. Spotify drives 16 billion artist discoveries every month, meaning 16 billion times a month, fans listen to an artist they've never heard before on Spotify. We're proud of that and are actively refining our algorithms to enable even more fan discoveries of new artists each month. In discovery mode, artists and labels can identify music that's a priority for them. And our system will add that signal to the algorithm that determines personalized listening sessions. This allows our algorithms to account for what's important to the artist, perhaps a song they're particularly excited about, an album anniversary they're celebrating, a viral cultural moment they're experiencing, or other factors they care about. To ensure the tool is accessible to artists at any stage of their careers, it won't require any upfront budget. Instead, labels or rights holders agree to pay, be paid a promotional recording royalty rate for streams in personalized listening sessions where we provided this service. If the songs resonate with listeners, we'll keep that, trying them in similar sessions. If the songs don't perform well, they'll quickly be pulled back. Listener satisfaction is our priority. We won't guarantee placements to labels or artists, and we only ever recommend music we think listeners will want to hear. This service applies to our radio and autoplay formats, where we know listeners are looking to discover new music. Playlists are getting an upgrade, too. We're introducing new ways for artists to use select playlists to share their stories and create connections with fans. Spotify Clips will debut on even more Spotify playlists featuring artists in short videos that let them put their personal stamp on a playlist experience. We wanna conclude our presentation with suggestions on how you can um, you know, use our, our materials here um, and look at you know, learning more extras and keeping in touch. So um, here you have Game Plan. Uh, in 2018, we launched the Game Plan, our flagship service-driven video series. Featuring industry insiders, exciting artists, and Spotify employees, the Game Plan gives creators everything they need to navigate the modern music world, from onboarding to our tools to developing strategies for success. This past year, we introduced subtitles in French, German, Arabic, Vietnamese, Thai, Korean, Japanese, and Russian. Expect more localized content to come. Best Advice is a growing archive of essential mantras from the biggest stars in the music industry, giving artists inspirational strategies for success. Once a month, we ask the biggest names in music one simple question. What's the best advice you ever got? Their answers are smart, pithy, and often surprising. Collab is an event and video series for working artists to meet their peers, get advice, and workshop their careers with the best in the business. As we touched on earlier, Soundtrap, 
is an easy to use online collaborative music and podcast recording studio that allows you and collaborators to connect and work on the same tune or podcast in real time on any device, no matter where you are in the world. We're really pleased to be able to offer you six months of Soundtrap Supreme so that you can try it out for yourselves. Just head to soundtrap.com slash gift and enter the code GR number eight collab, C-O-L-L-A-B. We also wanted to offer you this um, Spotify for Artists. We've teamed uh, Music Ally complimentary subscription for indie labels and artists. Once signed up, you'll receive daily news bulletins, Sandbox, which is a digital marketing report providing insight and specialist knowledge on how to market your music better, plus in-depth reports on other relevant industry topics and a discount to Music Ally training and events. It's a great offering. To sign up, just head to spada.fi slash indie label sign up. So keep in touch. Number one, claim your Spotify for Artists profile. Number two, check out the Spotify for Artists blog. And number three, follow us on socials. Thank you so much for joining us today. Fingers we hope crossed you have we see you guys next year. Bye.